the way because they have already been talked about and they have been discussed. Also, I wanted to make this video because I know this is such a random video and nobody really does videos on powders, but I wanted to do this video because we are getting into our hotter months and I know a lot of girls, especially who have oily skin are like, Gloria, what is a good setting powder to prevent oily skin? Now, I'm gonna say oil controlling and mattifying instead of like oil preventing because here's the thing, guys. If you guys have oily skin, the oil is gonna come out. Okay, it's gonna happen. It's what your skin is naturally producing. And at the end of the day, we really do have to be thankful for that oil because it's protecting our skin, it's hydrating our skin, and we're gonna age so much better because of this oil. I need you guys to understand that and thank the universe that you have oily skin. Because I know so many girls are like, oh, I hate my oily skin. And I'm like, girl, why? It's good. It's actually like a, it's actually a pretty healthy skin type if you know how to work it, how to take care of it, how to keep it under control. And that's the power that I'm going to be talking about but I also have a couple powders that I really recommend to any type of skin because all you guys really want is to look kind of blurred and I got you baby girl I got you first powder I'm going to get out of the way is the believe beauty powder this one is like five dollars you find it at dollar general and it is so ridiculously blurring it's stupid this is like my go-to powder especially in the winter time and in the fall time because this blurs me it gives me like a hint of oil control but not not really. I use it to blur and I use it to set my makeup just in place. In the winter time, I don't really need really oil controlling products. So I always lean for powders like this. I talked about this powder so many times and how literally airbrushed it leaves your skin. It is the most finely milled powder, ridiculously affordable, and they do have a good selection. It could be a little better if I'm being honest, Believe Beauty, but it is a very small brand and they are very much growing and they are set to launch new New products and they've already launched a bunch of new products including more range of shades to their line so i really like this one the next one i feel like i really want to get out of the way is these two from urban decay actually because i talk about them all the time and these are urban decay they're more on the expensive side but i love them and i love them for many 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 reasons this one is actually waterproof now i can't really speak to that because i've never sat underwater while using this and your girl doesn't plan to anytime soon but what I will say is this does keep me and my oils kind of under control what I like to do with this powder actually is I like to set my primers with it and then I like to go in with my setting spray and then my foundation now if you guys haven't heard about setting your primers or applying a little bit like a thin layer of powder before your foundation and you have oily skin that is the end all hack that is going to really prevent you from getting super oily. That is gonna prevent you from looking like a greased chicken, which is truly what we all want. I don't mind getting a little bit oily because I like my skin to look very natural and somewhat glowy. But once we get to greasy chicken point, that's when we wanna back up. And that's when I'm like, meet me, mm -mm. pineapples, get out of here. And I really like it because this is in a compact form and I can travel with it. This, I feel like is this in a compact form and vice versa. This, I really like to bake with because this does give you a very mattified look. look but this is also a pretty good hybrid of giving you like a nice blurred canvas. But this does have the tendency to be a little thick and it can be a little bit too pigmented in my opinion. Overall, I really do like it and I'm going to continue to use it, especially in the summertime because this item comes in clutch. And both of these together when used in conjunction, this to just lightly set before foundation or even kind of set your concealer and then when you really bake with this, it's like a match made in heaven and it's really dope. It's an expensive match, but it's very much worth it. It. I really like these two. Next one, again, I kind of want to speed through this one too, guys, because it's Laura Mercier. I use this one almost in every single video. And I feel like I always say this in every single video that I use this, but this powder, I feel like was the groundbreaking powder that we all needed, especially us oily skin girls, because nobody was really doing setting powders like this until Laura Mercier. Like we, I only remember having them either in a compact form or having like the big, massive Ben Nye powders or like RCNA powders that came in those containers that like they kind of look like seasonings or like chickens and, and turkeys and what have you not. This was actually like makeup that was accessible and while it was very expensive it's absolutely worth it. This one was the OG. This one was the starter of it all and it has stayed an OG because it has stayed very tried and true. The formula is so good. It does leave you pretty blurred. It's not the most blurring powder I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try and even lie to you guys when it comes to blurring capabilities. 
ability of it. It does smooth you out, but it's not very blurring. Also doesn't make you look very cakey, but this is very oil preventative. Almost a holy grail for people who have oily skin. And if you want your makeup to last, this is your go-to. The only setback I have with it is that it can have a tendency to look a little bit too cakey if you don't know how to work with it. I feel like for me personally, this one actually did come with a learning curve. There had to be a certain point in my concealer once having it set that I could be like, okay, now I can go in and set with this powder. Because if I put it on my concealer and it was still a little too wet, it grabbed on kind of weird and it left me a little bit cakey, which is not an issue I have with some other powders. But with this one, it was a little finicky for me. But now I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I can't get enough of it. This is something that I feel like I always have to have in my kit with me because it also works on so many people. And it is a skin tone that doesn't give you any flashback and it's pretty flattering on most and I'm not gonna say on everybody because no but on most it works very 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 well and I really like this look at me in the eyes look at me and my mother effing pupils right now and if you really are oily no know what oily is okay not just normal combination because even if you have normal skin I wouldn't go near this this is the collab set the stage ultra fine loose setting powder this one is another world of mattifying this one is another world of oil controlling because this one locks your makeup and I mean like leaves your face kind of feeling like like you just wanna do a bunch of that because it is so mattifying. And it has this way of really setting your face that makes you feel like it's locked in place. Like it almost feels like you have Botox on your face because it leaves it so in one place, but it's incredibly oil controlling. And this is a powder that I don't use if I know I'm not gonna be active that day. Once you put this on, you almost want your skin to get oily so it doesn't feel so mattifying. That's what I'm saying. If you have normal skin, I wouldn't even look at this. If if you have dry skin, I don't even want you to watch this video because I feel like it's gonna affect you even through the screen. But it's so ridiculously good for those days where you really do feel oily. Sometimes when it's that time of the month, my skin doesn't know what it wants to do and I just have to reach for this guy. But other days, even my skin can't handle it. And there have been days where I've used this and I cannot wait to take my makeup off and apply a hydrating mask because it really be like that. It really is that drying. But I love this guy very much. The next powder, speaking to my dry skin, normal skin girls that are just like, hey, we just need a compact powder that's gonna make us look kind of blurred and it's gonna set our makeup for us. And I got you. I actually have the expensive Mama Bear and the Baby Dupe. I think in my opinion. I don't think these are exact dupes, but I honestly think there could be in the same realm. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And this is my doll face blocked and blur mattifying face powder. I really like both of these powders for basically the same reason. They leave you really airbrushed. If I were to use this on my under eyes, it really does cancel out pores, fine lines. It doesn't give you really any of a flashback and it doesn't, and it's not powder that just sits on the skin. It really does melt nicely onto the skin and really set your powder, your creams really nicely, which is what the airbrush flawless finish powder is like known for. This is why I can't say this is an exact dupe for this because this stuff is magic in a compact. No, I don't think I've ever used or come across anything that is as airbrushing as this powder is. I don't know what Charlotte did. I don't know what machinery, trickery, havocery she's using. I don't even know if that's a word, but this stuff is incredible. It works so well at mattifying and blurring. It makes you look like a mannequin, like mannequin skin. But I will say, I don't think this is oil controlling. I do mix this with other powders when I want my skin to look much more oil controlled. But this guy, I will say kind of helps in that aspect. This one is kind of mattifying and it does blot the skin. It does mattify the skin a little bit, but it also has the capabilities of being blurring and kind of not exaggerating the fine lines. If anything, it kind of diminishes them and kind of gives the illusion that you have really smooth skin under this powder. So again, just take the good with the bad guys. This one is way more blurring, but this one is way more mattifying, but they're both very blurring. But I do think they're kind of dupes for each other because they, again, like they kind of do the same thing, just one does it better than the other. But if you guys are still wanting to splurge on the Charlotte Tilbury, I say do it. But if you guys are like, nah, baby girl, I will never pay 
pay 50 bucks for a compact i totally get that and i totally respect you this one was like 10 bucks i think and it basically does the same thing not as good as a charlotte tilbury one but it does give you that blurring nice flawless skin but it also helps keep the oils at bay which is pretty cool and that is the end of this video i hope you guys found it informative i hoped it helped i hoped it answered your question of which setting powder i should buy next because that's literally a dm i've gotten so many times like thousands of times i've gotten what's the best setting powder and i don't know if i know which one the best one is but these are all of my go-to's for different reasons so i guess you could say i gave you options so you're welcome i will say your biggest takeaway from this is know your skin type because if i swear if you're dry and you use this stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna smack you like i'm going to smack you yeah <laughs>